Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Now Nation Recap. I'm John Orlando, and I'm joined by Michael Pagano, and welcome to the best of Onyx. He is somebody that has been here in NOW since day one, and he is incredibly popular with our fans, so we felt we had to sit down and do a best of for this edition of the Now Nation Recap. And Michael, what match are we going to take a look at to kick off this three-part series on Onyx? Yeah, absolutely, John. You cannot do a best of anybody in NOW without doing Onyx. Onyx, one of the biggest fan favorites, one of the most well-known wrestlers around NOW. But anyways, we're going to start off at NOW 2 and Onyx's debut in NOW, where he teams up with Graham Wellington to take on the stretcher James Avery in the professional Brandon Fields. Now, Onyx will get into it a little bit more with Avery and Fields a little bit later in NOW, but for this edition, we see them tag up in a tag team match, and we'll see who's able to come away with the victory at NOW, too. Well, then let's not waste any time. Let's get right on up to our matchup with Graham Wellington and Onyx taking on the professional Brandon Fields and the stretcher, James Avery. All right, it's time for our big tag team match that we have here at NOW2. And there you see the professional, Brandon Fields, accompanied by his tag team partner, the stretcher, James Avery. And one of these two goofs doing out here. They have no reason to be out here. That is, of course, Daniel Winchester, the gentleman in the tuxedo, and J.R. Judy, who I can't even describe his outfit. But why are they out here, Trent? Well, they are students of James Avery. Uh, James runs a professional wrestling school in Newark, the uh, um, Central Ohio Pro Wrestling Academy. And they are students uh, in, in training, I guess you could say. Brandon Fields is also a stu- Whoa. Whoa, whoops. Yeah, yeah. whoops. A little, little malfunction at the junction yeah. there for James Avery. Uh. I, I hope he didn't teach him that. But, um, yeah, Brandon Fields is uh, one of Avery's prized pupils. He's been com- keep com- competing for about two to three years now. Uh, Avery's been competing for well over 15 years, uh, a true veteran. So this is a, a mentor-protege team. Uh, with a veteran and, and the young up and comer in fields. Yeah, but my point is though, Winchester and Judy do not need to be at ringside. I mean, if they, what are they there for? They're there probably to cheat. Yeah, I, and I don't think Viper would have a problem with that. Uh, you know what? Uh, you got to learn the ropes here, and you uh, you got someone that's willing to show them what they need to do from the time they come to the ring, and you know they have to learn somewhere how to take full advantage of the situation and the opportunities available to them. So, yeah, I, I think I think this is a great learning ground for them. I'm just saying I know James Avery very well, and he has certainly stacked the deck in his favor. He's got two extra hands out there on the floor against the team of Wellington and Onyx. And there you hear the introduction for those two gentlemen. Yeah, this will be very interesting to see uh, how they how they gel as a team. They're very familiar with each other. So I think they're going to be a, a, a pretty good team. Well, here we are waiting on the arrival of Onyx and Graham Wellington. Uh, Graham Wellington, of course. Oh, wait a minute. And I've just been told, too, this is little O, uh, a, a, the valet for Onyx. Coming out here at ringside, well, it still makes it four on three, so the advantage is still Avery's crew still has the advantage, but there you're seeing Onyx. He certainly is a very powerful gentleman. You can just look at his physique and know he, he is certainly a gentleman that spends a lot of time in the gym, and he is one. he's strong as an ox. I said it earlier with Brian Castle. There's a dude that's strong as an ox as well, and Graham Wellington, who is an incredibly intelligent young man, went to Harvard. Um, I talked to him in the back earlier on today, and he was explaining to me some of the uh, theories that he learned in quantum physics, which I have no idea whether they're right or wrong because <laughs> I can barely spell quantum so physics. So you're telling me that the IQ in the ring is going to be more than the IQ outside the ring for this particular match. <laughs> I wouldn't say that about Daniel Winchester and J.R. Judy. That's not very nice, Viper. Well, I, I just think the uh, the matchup here, Onyx, uh, that guy, he is, man, he has got some size on him. Yeah, he's got shoulders and different zip codes. 
Um, but he also brings a, a brute force and intensity to the ring. He's been wrestling for quite a while, too. So he he's another guy. He's seen it all. He's done it all. Um, Graham Wellington, uh, yeah, as you stated, very uh, very intelligent wrestler. He always comes up with a game plan for every match. I know he's come up with a, a game plan for this match. He's watched a lot of footage. So this is uh, their first time teaming up, uh, Onyx and Graham Wellington. So I'm very uh, interested to see how this plays out. And, of course, Graham Wellington uh, has only been wrestling about two or three years himself, coming out of the uh, northeastern part of Ohio. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Brandon Fields is going to start things for his team. And it looks like maybe Onyx is going to start. Yep, it is going to be Onyx. Now, if you're Brandon Fields, what, how do you chop down this massive cherry tree? Well, I think it's when you have to implore uh, JR, JR in this one here, probably. Well... <laughs> JR and Daniel Means Winchester maybe. One and a half or two and a half going up against Onyx. Well, the fans are certainly behind Onyx and Graham Wellington. There you see Wellington pumping up the crowd. Yeah, Fields is going to have to use his quickness, uh, his technical ability, because there's no way that he's going to be able to match strength uh, with Onyx. It's just not going to work out very well for him. I think Fields is a little hesitant. I don't think he knows what to do. Yeah, I think the the crowd's kind of getting under uh, getting under skin too, kind of rattling him a little bit. All right, well now Brandon Fields still still kind of hesitant, still trying to figure out what to do. I don't think James Avery's giving him any help though. I, I, he hasn't told him what to do. And here we go, Colin Elbow tie up, and whoa, oh. wow. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, Brandon Fields is not a small gentleman. Uh, in fact, I think he he checked in what about 205, 210. So he's, yeah. not, he's not a small gentleman by no means, but Onyx threw him across the ring like he was a rag doll. Yeah, he realized very quickly that uh, he's not going to be able to match power with, uh, with Onyx. So he's going to have to use some other tools in his toolbox. Well, speaking of a tool, there's one right there in J.R. Judy. What a goofball. And now there's a quick amateur takedown from Onyx and... He lets him go, and Brandon Fields is complaining. Yeah. What's he complaining about, Trent? What could he possibly be Pulling be his hair. About? You saw that right <laughs> he there. He did not pull uh, his hair. Clearly took him to the mat too easy. It was, yeah. it was definitely, a, you know, you probably couldn't see it from this angle, but I, I would definitely have to say he was probably pulling on his hair. Yeah. I didn't see it from, uh, from my vantage point, but um, I think Fields and Avery are going to need to take every, uh, every cheap shot that they can to uh, get advantage. And now they're just they're just giving it to the referee, Avery and Fields. Trey, can I ask you in your wrestling career, did you ever try to intimidate the referee? Ever try to confuse them by just constantly jaw jacking and yapping in their ears? Yeah, absolutely. Is that effective? It's, well, it depends on the referee. Okay. Um, the referee in this match, he's a, a senior official. I, I don't think it's necessarily going to work with him. But in a tag team situation, if you can get him distracted, then your partner can you know come in and, and, and do some damage. In the meantime, Brandon Fields is a victim of a huge power slam. After uh, missing a couple of maneuvers, Onyx grabbed him and just slammed him right down to the mat. And now Onyx is taking him over to the corner and tags in Graham Wellington. And let's see how well the street smarts and the book smarts gel here, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Graham Wellington, as you can see, he's he's a pretty big guy himself. Uh, he does, but he doesn't rely exclusively, you know, on power moves. He can get technical, and as you can see right now, yeah, he can he can throw the punches too. And there you go, raining down punches from way above as the fans count along. And whoa, biting him a little bit there. Uh, looking at that, see, that's, there's no need for that. Okay, Viper, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I have to agree with you on that. Yeah. And now there's a tag and. Here comes Onyx, the, the big man of the team, and look at this, big whip in, an elbow to the chops, and there's a big splash from Onyx. Come on, ref, get two of them out of there. Well, they have to have five to get out of the yeah. suplex from Wellington and Onyx, and maybe that is enough to put away Brandon Fields. And uh, I don't know, I think Avery got in the head of the referee and distracted him for a split second, yeah. and that allowed Fields to get out of from underneath that cover. Yeah, I think Avery was actually uh, nervous that Brandon wasn't going to kick out of that uh, out of that pin attempt. A quick shoulder block in the corner from Onyx, and another one. And if you're Brandon Fields, you got to think that he wants to get out of this ring as quickly as possible. And there's a big field toss right over into the corner of James Avery. Now, I got a question: Why would Onyx throw the man into his own corner? I think Trent, that's not a very smart strategy. I. Not necessarily. I mean, if, if you're confident in your ability against both members of a tag team, um, 
I, I think maybe Onyx isn't uh, intimidated by Avery. And now, and now Avery continuing to just give the business to the referee. Yeah, you know, Avery, uh, as we saw um, in Josh Sampson's match, is another very vocal uh, wrestler during the match. And he, he does it to get in his opponent's head, and I think to irritate the fans as well. And there we go, working on the left arm, right there from Graham Wellington, just twisting right on the arm, putting a lot of pressure on the elbow, putting a lot of pressure on the wrist. Avery escapes with a roll through, and now, look at this, here we go, behind with a quick hammer lock, spins him around, snap there over, and now into a chin lock. Yeah, James Avery is a very proficient uh, technical wrestler. That, yes, no as doubt. As you just saw, but he doesn't always rely on it, though. He, he likes to take those shortcuts. And now Wellington escapes with a hammer lock, and we're to the back corner here. And are we going to get a clean break? Yeah, I don't think so, but Wellington ducks a big chop. And another big chop on Avery, and a third one. And now maybe it's time for another deal toss here. Nope. Whip to the uh, far corner there, and Wellington setting up for something. Here we go. Big clothesline in the corner, and Avery is down and out. Yeah, I really, I think Graham really should go for a pin right now. Certainly, I think that would be, I would agree with you. Here yeah. we go. Here's a cover. One. Uh, think, that's all I got. I think he waited a little too long for that cover, and it might have cost him. And now, Wellington going to whip Avery off the ropes again. There he goes. Reversal. Avery shoots him in. Big kick right into the face of James Avery, but whoa, what a, what a power slam, and I don't think he got all of that, Trent, but he certainly got enough to, to make it effective. Here we go, cover one, and that's all he gets. Yeah, what, what he's done with that power slam is he's turned uh, turned the tide in this match, and yeah, he uh, tagged in Brandon, who's uh, had time to recover, and uh, yeah, now we're going to see how Graham uh, deals with adversity. And right now, Brandon Fields looking to work on the arm it looks like of Graham Wellington with a big elbow right down to the shoulder joint and Graham is is hurting for certain and again grabbing that arm and twisting it putting all that torque right on the elbow and the wrist and now a quick hammerlock and whoa reverses to the other arm yeah I mean if you can damage both of your opponent's arms I mean we go cover one sorry to interrupt Trent there was a one count only yeah absolutely I mean if you can uh, debilitate both of your opponent's arms then they're very limited in what they can do now look at this Avery's getting in here distracting the referee uh, they claim they made a tag there was no tag made and now Avery's just raining down with double axe handles to the neck of Graham Wellington. I'm going to have to get you some glasses. You didn't say that was, that was pretty clear to me that they were in there and made the tag. It's refs back with him. He didn't get a chance to see them, but yeah, that was a clear tag there. Well, we'll agree to disagree. And there's a cover two, and that's all that Avery can get on Wellington. Yeah, and you notice he put the forearm uh, across the face of Graham when he went for the cover, um, which is at, really just adds to, uh, to the pinfall. It adds a little insult to the injury as well, correct? Right? Yeah, it's, it's a little uh, humiliating. But. And, and now here comes Graham Wellington. He's fighting back, but oh, he ran into a massive clothesline from James Avery. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, JR and uh, Winchester approve. And why are they dressed like they're dressed? Why didn't they match? Do they not coordinate? Like what? Anyways, I digress here. Here we go. Drop kick off of the inverted atomic drop from Avery Fields getting the cover. Here we go. This might be enough. One, two, and no. Yeah, Brandon really should have hooked a leg on that. Um, it, it allowed uh, Graham to, to kick out easier than if he'd hooked the leg. And now Brandon Fields still in control, going to pick up Graham Wellington. I wonder what he has in mind. It looks like he's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Graham almost, almost got to the corner there, but an elbow to the back of the neck will stop his progress. And, you know, I think maybe a moment of hesitation for Brandon Fields may have, may have come back to bite him, but luckily he managed to get that elbow into the neck of Wellington. And now we're going to get another double team from Fields and Avery. Whips him in off the ropes. Here we go. Whoa, wait a minute. Graham Wellington got a kick to Fields and then just threw the two gentlemen together. I use that term loosely when I'm talking about Avery and Fields. Yeah, this is Graham's opportunity to make the tag. Uh, Onyx has been out there for a while. He's he's raring to, to get back in the match. But uh, And little O, little O is trying to get the fans behind her. She is the valet for Onyx, and she is trying to get the, the great fans of Groveport behind them. And Graham is still a long ways away from making a tag. Can he do it? 
Can he get over there and make a tag to the powerhouse of Onyx? And he does. Here comes Onyx. There's one clothesline. There's a clothesline. Here's another clothesline. Here's another clothesline. My goodness. He is unstoppable on a double clothesline for Avery Fields. And now these two uh -oh. dimwits, what are they doing? <laughs> They're up on the apron. And I think Little O has something in store for them, maybe. And she yanks them right off, and they hit their faces right on the ring apron. And uh, Little O is very proud of her handiwork, as she should be. And Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, get involved in the match. You know, sometimes it backfires on you. So uh, I think they might be uh, out of the equation for a little bit. They might be. Is that enough to get the victory for Onyx and Wellington? Big back elbow from Wellington. Here's a big clothesline on Brandon Fields from Graham. Here's a double sledge as well. And maybe Wellington setting him up for his finisher. No, nope, reversal. Sorry, Brandon Fields tries for a clothesline. Big calf kick coming from Graham Wellington, and that might be enough. One, two, and I don't believe that that was enough, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Yeah, Brandon had the presence of mind to kick out, but I, I don't know how much more he can take of this. Uh, but you know, see Avery and Onyx on the outside. And they're, they're brawling at ringside here. Meanwhile, Wellington and Fields are, are up in the ring battling. Oh my goodness, what a maneuver. I don't even know what to call that, Trent. Yeah, it was a variation of the uh, backstabber. And oh my goodness, that was almost enough to put away Graham Wellington. And Brandon Fields can't believe it. He's saying three, but clearly the referee said a two count only. Onyx, I don't know what happened to Onyx. This is, this is such a chaotic match, folks. I don't even know what's going on. I didn't see why is Onyx down. Something happened out on the floor between him and Avery. Yeah, it's hard when you've got you know four four competitors and then you've got uh, you know Avery students at ringside. It's very hard to keep track of everything going on if you're the referee. All right, Fields is setting him up. Looks like a twisting type of clothesline. He ducked underneath. Graham Wellington with a shot down. Oh, here we come. Neck, neck tie, neck breaker. There you go. That might be enough. Here we go. One. Look out for Avery. Look out for Avery. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he heard me because Graham rolled out of the way. Avery collided with Brandon Fields. And there's a spear for your trouble. One, two, and three. There you go. Onyx and Graham Wellington get the victory. And Brandon Fields is feeling awful after being uh, a victim of James Avery diabolical plot to come off the top rope, but it didn't quite pan out, did it, Trent? No, I just don't think that uh, Fields and Avery could handle the power uh, of Onyx and uh, and the, the skill, the technical ability of Graham Wellington. Um, and even, even having their students at ringside, didn't didn't help him much. Well, there you go. Little O is very proud of the team that she is managing here tonight. Graham Wellington and Onyx is. They are victorious over Avery and Fields, and uh, all four of them going back to the to the locker room in, in in defeat. Yeah, this was Onyx and Graham's first time teaming. I don't know if we'll see him again in the future, but if we do, I think they could be a team to be reckoned with. And from what I'm being told, we will have comments from the man that we saw in action in our first match, the Appalachian Outlaw, Jock Sampson. John, would you look at that? Onyx coming away with the victory in his debut with Graham Wellington as a tag team. And Onyx obviously debuting that huge spear that we would see so often throughout NOW up to this point. And John, he had a very long rivalry with both Brandon Fields and a little bit of James Avery. With Brandon Fields, we saw him face Fields at NOW3 the very next show, and we saw that on this Now Nation recap. And then he would also face him at the Arnold, and then he would also face him in NOW9 for the NOW Championship. They were also involved in the first NOW championship match and these two guys have just faced each other countless times in NOW and then at the most recent show at Ohio State Fair Onyx also took on James Avery and was able to defeat him but amazing rivalry and Onyx just showing everybody a taste of what they would see later to come in NOW and you know one thing we totally glossed over while talking about Onyx at the beginning of this uh, broadcast is the strength and the power. He is legitimately one of the strongest men in all of professional wrestling. And, you know, he prides himself on hitting the gym and, and putting in the work in the gym so that he can be the behemoth that he is, you know, and be as victorious and successful as he can be 
in NOW. And you know what, folks? This is only part one of a three-part series on Onyx. So you're going to have to stick around and check out those other two editions. But for right now, let me tell you where you can get in touch with us. You can find us on the web. Just go to newohiowrestling.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for New Ohio Wrestling. And we're even on Twitter. Just check us out at New Ohio Wrestling. No G. And, you know, Michael, we got a lot of cool things happening. In fact, uh, uh, the president of NOW, Donnie, just released some uh, some cool news. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to make you go over to those social media outlets or the website and check out that cool news. It's really good stuff. And uh, I'm excited for it. How about you? Absolutely. It is a huge, huge deal and a huge announcement. So definitely go check it out. There you go. And for Michael Pagano, I'm John Orlando. We'll see you on the next Now Nation Recap.